The LSU Tigers just suffered an embarrassing loss, and I have three years to win the national championship or I fail. Let's begin. All right, so LSU, the number 13 team in the country, 86 overall, 87 offense, 86 defense, SEC team, spread offense, a 4-2-5 defense. Going to take over as head coach. See you later, Brian Kelly. All right, so we got head coach Coach O runs a LSU offense, Almater LSU, North Texas pipeline. He's going to be black because Coach O, he's black. We have two years to win 10 games wrong. We have three years to win a national championship. If we get fired at all, Video's over. Take a look at the roster. Obviously, offensively led by the tackles, Will Campbell and Emery Jones. Mason Taylor outside and Harold Perkins on defense. Well, LSU, we're going to go after a lot of high-level prospects. Defensive tackle Pat Fortner. Quarterback Ben Chick. Athletes Glenn Antoine and Jaquan Garns. Defensive tackle Caleb Gohn. Quarterback James Alvarado. Middle linebacker Brian Castellanos. Defensive tackle Jaden Elias. Cornerback Alan Marcook. Bruce Bland. Left end Ben Zolak. Defensive tackle Ben Milmayata. Middle linebacker Shaquille Hill. Right end Steve Lemur. And then right tackle Tevin Kamar. Gonna go after a bunch of other guys, but those are the main ones. And then obviously taking a look at our schedule, we start the season off at USC. We then come back. This is supposed to be Nichols. Um, and then we go to South Carolina to start SEC play. We come back and host UCLA in South Alabama. We have our first bye. We then go to, or excuse me, host number five Ole Miss. Go to Arkansas at number 24 Texas a and Have our second bye before we host number six Alabama. Go to Florida and we go to Vanderbilt number 14 Oklahoma. So a very tough schedule is the SEC though. So what did you expect? Starting the season off against LSU. I feel comfortable simming this one. If we don't beat the Trojans, we got a big problem. And even though we fall to the Trojans, our Trojans moves up to an A and our brand exposure moves up to an A+. How did we lose this game? Let's take a look at this game. 24-17, to just lost. Really couldn't get the offense going. Nothing through the air. Blocking-wise, allowed four sacks from Will Campbell. That's not a good look at all. 11 tackles from Whit Weeks. No sacks, no turnovers. Yeah, our defense didn't play well either. We're at the point where we can start scheduling visits. This game against Ole Miss is a huge game for us. We're going to schedule people here. We're taking on Nichols State. We have to be able to take care of them. If we lose to them, this season's over. We take care of Nichols State. A brand exposure falls to an A. We get the win, though, and that's what's important. Let's take a look at this game. Beat them 28-3, to so not a throttling, but, you know, good enough. 107 yards and a touchdown for C.J. Daniels. 867 and a touchdown for Aaron Anderson. Did allow a sack, but did have a pancake from D.J. Chester. Defensively did have three sacks from Savion Jones, Braden Swenson, and Paris Shad. And then an interception from Zai Alexander. We'd love to see that defense played much better this week. Next up, we start a CC play on the road. Even though we are taking on a good South Carolina team, I feel comfortable simming this one. And maybe I shouldn't have been. We fall to one until we lose South Carolina. Let's take a look at this game. Beat, lost by one, 32 to 31. Wow. 114, two touchdowns for Aaron Anderson, 67, two touchdowns for CJ Daniels. Allowed two sacks from Will Campbell and Emory Jones. Don't like that. And then had a couple sacks. Wheat Weeks, Geo Pies, Savion Jones, but no turnovers. Just couldn't squeak it out. For Caleb Cohn, I, we're going to be able to switch to the hard sell here. We're going to go starter. This is going to be huge. If we can start getting guys in the building and using these hard sells, that'd be awesome. Championship contender moves back to an A. Love to see that. Against South Alabama, Aaron Anderson, eight receptions, 242, five touchdowns. Amazing game from him. I imagine he's the national offense for the week yet, too. We beat South Alabama 51-17. to That's a good game there. We don't really have high-level receiving threats. We're going to add Ross Waller, the number one player in the country to our class. I know we're having a down season, but he would be a huge gift for this team. And then we're also going to add Max Donald, another five-star receiver, another top 10 guy in the country. At the first bye, we actually have a couple big injuries. We're losing, missing Savion Jones with Tony Labrum. He'll be back soon. Will Campbell's going to be out six weeks with a dislocated ankle. Those are two big injuries for this team. And left tackle, we're thin. We're going with uh, Richard Freshman, Tyree Adams. That's it. We have, you know, Garrett Dellinger in case of emergency. But we're thin at that spot. Obviously, he's starting there. We have uh, Kimo Makanole and Bo Borderline. Right guard, Miles Frazier, Paul Mabunga, and Bo Borderline. I and mean, we're thin there. And then at left end, we're even thinner, right? Braden Swinson and Deshaun Womack, two right ends are playing there. We even have Harold Perkins playing some edge. And then we don't have a right end. Because of that, we're playing Jacoby and Guillory there. And we're fine at t tackle right? Jacoby and Guillory, Gio Pius, Sean Washington, Jalen Lee, and JVR Suggs. But we're thin there. And then obviously left the linebacker, Harold Perkins, Dylan Carpenter, uh, Princeton, Malbrew. We're fine at those positions, but damn, we are thin. We bring in defensive tackle Pat Fortner, middle linebacker Shaquille Hill. We also brought in left end Ben Zolik, three big guys for us. We moved back into the top 25 at number 20, A-plus in championship contender. We'd love to see that. We're also going to add another five-star receiver, LaMarcus Scroggins. He's a top 25 guy in the country, the number one guy in the state of Kansas, a top three receiver in the country. This would be a huge kid. He's a big boy. And finally, our final wide receiver prospect added Brian House, the number 28 guy in the country, third in the state of Louisiana, the fifth best receiver coming out of high school. This would be a huge get for this team. We're going to hop into our first game this season against Ole Miss in the Magnolia Bowl. Right now, we're three and two. We really can't afford to drop too many more games, if any, if we want to make the, either the SEC championship in the playoff, win a national championship. Got to win this one. Our first look in Death Valley, Emory Jones. 
Harold Perkins, LSU Tigers. Here we go. Can the Tigers take down Ole Miss and solidify their spot in the top 20? Solidify their spot, win their first SEC game this season. We got to have this one, boys. Going to get the ball to start this game off. Let's see how they cover this. Oh, they're just going to leave Mason Taylor wide open. Give me five yards then. Um, if they're going to give me five yards every tech shot, I'm going to hit it every time. Going to flip this play to the wide side here. I'm actually going to put Kyron Lacey on an out route. Yeah, I just got thrown away. There was nothing open. I couldn't see anything downfield. Going to put Daniels on a drag here up the field. There we go. Give me the first down. Move the ball. Going to put Mason Taylor on a drag here. Let's see how they cover this. Big blitz. Nussmeyer. Out to Mason Taylor. Stay on your feet, Mason Taylor. What a run. Going to see if we can go with this little screen here. Probably just going to hand it off. Yep, there we go. Caden Durham, nice seven yards start the drive. Going to put Daniels in and out. Go get it. Go get it. What a ball, Garrett Nussmeyer. Wow. Going to bring a blitz here. It's third and nine. I don't want Jackson Dart to have time to sit back there. I'm on Major Burns. That was a great catch. How did he get that in there? Third and four here. This is actually probably a run based on this formation. I'm on Penn. Oh, it's a speed option. How? Just, that's fine. Fourth and three. They're going for this. I don't know if this is a run. I'm on Weeks. I'm glad I didn't call a run. I knew it was going there too. Son of a bitch. We got to get a stop here on first down. I'm on Allen. This is probably, a, nope, it's a pass. Great job by our defense getting in there. Jacoby and Guillory stepping up huge. Second and 10. I'm going to call pass here. I imagine they don't run this ball. I'm on Penn. Great defense. Third and 10. If we can hold them to three, that's fine. I'm on Alexander. We know this is a pass. Third and 10. If they run it, they run it. Give me that. Oh my God. Perfect time to use your pick. I'm taking off. There is no way Jackson starts that fast. I'm glad I took it out though. Holy shit. Going to flip this play back to the wide side of the field here. Going to go with a fake jet touch pass. Go back inside to Caden Durham. I only need a couple yards. So let's see how this works. Fourth and inches. We're going for this. Going to go power. Here we go. I didn't. That's criminal, bro. That's so fucking criminal. Okay, well, they're going to be in quarters coverage here. I'm taking off. Garrett Nussmeyer, give me nine yards. That's fine. I'm just going to keep sitting in, in five, four wide, five wide. And they're going to keep doing that. And they're going to keep not getting their rushing lanes. And I'm going to keep running for yards. Nice job, Garrett Nussmeyer. I'm actually going to put Daniels here on a drag. Kyron Lacey might be open like pretty much immediately. Yep. What a ball to Kyron Lacey. Get upfield. Get out of there, Kyron Lacey. Already inside the 15. I'm actually going to put Daniels on a streak. Let's see how they... I threw it in. All right. Well, I'm going to put Kyron Lacey here on a drag. I think I can hit Daniels immediately. He got shoved inside. I had so many different routes open, and I picked none of them. Like, that was incredibly bad offense by me. I'm going to put Amari Pimpton on a drag here. Damn. Okay. Well, we're going to blitz. Don't have time. What a ball by Garrett Nussmeyer. Oh, my God. Here we go. Third and seven. This feels like pass. I'm on weeks. Run formation, though. Oh, it was a run. I did not expect that to be a run on third and seven. I'm bringing a big blitz here on third and seven. I'm selling out for it. Oh my God. I knew that's, you know, what's funny. That's why I needed to cover and I couldn't get there. First and goal with the two, selling out for the run. How do I sell out for the run and he still gets the touchdown? That's crazy. What are we doing going back with a pass? I think this is a pass, but I'm not too certain. Nope. This is some sort of speed option. The fact that he got four yards on that play, bro. What are we doing? Now I know it's a pass. I'm on Allen. Oh my God, it's a run. What is this formation by Ole Miss? Hope, dude, can we? Thank you. Okay, this is a pass. I'm on Allen. Three straight runs inside the 20 to no avail would be pretty. It is a run. No, it's play action. Get there. Let's go. I'm going to, yeah, listen, I'm, our defense has played good. We got to get one stop on offense or one first down on offense and the game is over. I got it. I blocked it. I blocked it to one of you. Take off. Oh my God. No way. Game over. I cannot believe we just blocked a fucking kick. We're going to take this all the way to the house. We're going to prance and dance and all the way in two touchdowns. LSU wins the Magnolia Bowl. And it's official once we get this onside kick back. They do have timeouts left, so technically this isn't over until we get this. Now it's over. Great job, LSU. We defended home field, took down Ole Miss in the Magnolia Bowl. First game we hopped into, um, we moved to 4-2. and two, A big win for the LSU Tigers. Defense held strong. Offense was good. We had a nice couple throws from Garrett Nussmeyer. 67th win of the Magnolia Bowl in our first game in this video. We love to see that. Garrett Nussmeyer, 208, 60% completion percentage, three touchdowns. Nutted all over Ole Miss, did Garrett Nussmeyer. So we'd love to see that. That throw was unbelievable. Off your back foot, fading away across your body. That throw was unbelievable. An absolute dot. 
Taryn Anderson, and let's see when the Magnolia Bowl. We're not out of it yet. We do have a tough schedule. We have to play Alabama. We have to play Texas A&M. We don't play Oklahoma, but hey, that's a good start right there. We bring in running back Glenn Ayn, defensive tackle Jaden Elias, another defensive tackle in Caleb Cohn, another defensive tackle in Bill Mailata, middle linebacker Brian Castellanos, another corner in Alan Marcoux. We brought in a lot of guys this week. That's a huge week for us. Moved to number 15 in the country. Even though we beat Ole Miss in the Magnolia Bowl, Ben Chick commits to Texas, so we're going to take him off our board. And Tevin Kamar commits to Oklahoma, so we're going to take him off our board. Next up, we go to Arkansas. We have to take care of the Razorbacks. Take care of Arkansas. Harold Perkins, six total tackles, two TFLs, two sacks. Perfect game from Harold. We'd love to see that. And then National Defensive Player of the Week, he had a picture-perfect week for us. And he had an interception in a game that we needed everything from. And now we got to take on AM. All right, taking on number four, Texas AM. This is going to be the toughest game we've had to play all season. Let's get into it. Third and six here, just outside the red zone. We got to get a stop here. I'm simulating pressure. I'm on pan. I'm flying back. Dude, like, what are we doing? We can't cover anybody. And they're in the red zone. Here we go. Come on. This is a run. I will sell out for the run here. Come on, Weeks. Shouldn't have done that. Great job. I can't believe that worked. I sold out for the run. That was kind of stupid by me, but I'm getting sick of Tech saying I'm. I'm on Major Burns. I'm coming down. That's fine. He only got a yard out of it. Gonna bring, gonna bring some pressure here. I imagine this is a pass. And I got stuck on a fucking... Great job. I'm gonna keep him in field range. All right. Hold the three. That's fine. Back on defense. Our offense has done a good job. I'm on Burns. First and 10 inside the red zone. This is a run. Just kidding. Oh my God. I was gonna do it myself, but it doesn't matter. Oh my God, I, I saw it. It's, I, I knew where he was going to throw it. Holy shit. Good lurk by the U CPU, I mean. Holy shit. Wow. If we can get this, we can go up two touchdowns here. Up the seam to Mason Taylor, 14-3. to three. And I'll be honest, guys, we blew out Texas A&M. 35-10. They never got any closer. They didn't score a touchdown until like two minutes left in the fourth quarter. This was an incredible game for our team. I'm super proud of the way we played. Defense ever, offense ever. 38th win of the LSU Texas A&M rivalry. I wish it had a name because it's a good rivalry between two really good teams. Garrett Nussmeyer was great. 185, 68%, three touchdowns. Yeah, like I said, he was fantastic. We get another five-star running back in Jaquan Garns. That's a huge commit for this team. Moves to the number 11 team in the country. Taking a look at the top 25, obviously Georgia, Michigan, Oregon, Oklahoma, Kansas State, Ohio State, Alabama, Notre Dame, Texas A&M, SMU, obviously there's us, but also got Nebraska, South Carolina, Miami, Kansas, got Arizona, Utah, USC, NC State, Texas Tech, Pitt, UCF. This is a, a really loaded top 25. And we actually have a really significant injury. Will Campbell, we're on a bye right now, so he'll only miss one week, but he has a dislocated ankle. So that makes sense why Texas A&M was able to run through us with their defensive line. Their defensive line was everywhere. When we're starting Tyree Adams, I mean, I don't think we're just thin at these positions. Obviously, Weston Davis is going to get some burn. Um, and Kimo Makanoe, the right tackle and the right guard, respectively. And we're thin, right? Obviously, Emory Jones over here and Weston Davis. And a right guard, we're thin too. Miles Frazier, Paul Mabunga, left guard, Bo Borderline. And then left guard, Garrett Dellinger. I mean, we're just thin. We need Mason, or excuse me, we'll can't get back healthy. Even though we don't play again, we move to the number 10 team in the country. We're in a really good spot, but Alabama's up next. Next up is Alabama. We're going to hop into this one. This is a huge rivalry game. We're going to go with the whiteouts. Haven't played it with this uniform yet. Listen, we can't afford another loss, especially in an SEC play if we want to make the SEC championship game. Here we go. No Will Campbell on that left tackle spot. We're going to have to go against the vaunted Alabama Crimson Tide. Can we take down Jalen Murrow, Kalen DeBoer, and cohere at Tiger Stadium in Death Valley? It's going to be a tough game. A very tough game. But we cannot afford another loss. Garrett Nussmeyer, we need another performance out of you like last week. Let's do this shit. Going to see if we can start off through the air. Take the top off this defense. Going to put Daniels on a drag here. I'm taking off Garrett Nussmeyer. Great. I didn't even see him downfield. Holy shit. Spin move! Garrett Nussmeyer, what a spin! So overload the zones on the right side with this play action. Hey, Mason Taylor, give me the first down. There we go. We're moving the ball really effectively right now. Going to go back to this shot slot option play. Not going to be able to escape this time. I'm just going to throw it away. Let's actually put the ball on the ground here with Caden Durham going to my left side. Good juke back inside. Give me two, three. We'll take it. Going to try something. I actually don't know how, what this play is going to look like. So let's see what it does. I've never actually ran this play before. But Mason Taylor is wide open. There we go. I, keep, I like this play here in the red zone. I'm going to put Kyron Lacey on an out route and see if that clears... Caden Durham up top. Shit, I couldn't get out. There was nowhere to go with that ball. Let's try some more play action here. They look like they're going to be in quarters, so I'm just going to have to take what's underneath. Back off my back foot. Nice job, Garrett Nussmeyer. Holy shit. They blew open that. Yeah, I got to get rid of the ball quickly. Our offensive line is not playing well. Touchdown. What? Oh my god. We're going to take our three just to get it. Just to get some points on the board, but damn, what was that? I drilled him. 
Down 10 to three, Alabama has really carved up our defense. Up the seam to Mason Taylor. Wow, I'm surprised what Campbell didn't. Fuck, I don't even know who that is. First and goal here at the seven. We gotta get a touchdown here to tie this game. Touchdown. What the fuck, Garrett Nussmeyer? Oh my God, okay, fine. We're gonna put this ball in the hands of Kate and Durham. They look like they're stacking the box though. I don't like this look. Give me four, three. I'm actually gonna flip this play to the wide side of the field here. I think if I put Kyron Lacey on an out. Oh no, never mind. Got him. Right across the middle. Let's go. 10 apiece. All right. First and 10. We get a chance to score here, but we have to go 97 yards. Got to get the ball out of our own end zone right here. Caden Durham, I honestly probably should have ran that better. That's my fault. But we got out of our own end zone. And now we now we now we go. They're gonna be in quarters, so I'm gonna have to. I'm just gonna take off. Give me the first down, Garrett Nussmeyer. Five rushes, 63 yards. Garrett Nussmeyer's been awesome. Just gotta go. Just gotta go. Gotta find holes. If they're gonna leave everything open underneath, I'm just gonna have to nickel and dime my way down the field. But unfortunately, I have to start taking shots. I'm gonna put Kyron Lacey on an out route here. Up the seam, Mason Taylor, wide open. Why are you so slow? Second time out. I'm gonna put Mason Taylor on an out route here. And I'm, no, no, Mason Taylor on a post. Kyron Lacey on a streak. Let's see how they cover this. Give me the first down, Mason Taylor. Oh my God. I pretty much have to th throw this ball and get down. Okay, so we're gonna get a field goal out of it. We're gonna take the lead here. I could go for it, but I'm not that ballsy. Threw it right over his head. Great ball to Mason Taylor. So we're gonna, hey, listen, I don't think we got the, I don't remember if we got the ball. Oh, we did get the ball. Damn. Okay, so we'll, listen, we'll have the field goal lead. That's fine. Here we go, third and eight, just, oh wait, whoa. Why did it, what are we doing? What are we doing? Why did that ball take so long to get there? And how did we miss all those fucking tackles? Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. We're gonna come down right here and take the lead again. Dude, no fucking way, who did I hit? Right, I'm starting to get pissed off now. The fact that that ball was behind is the reason that it wasn't picked off. So shout out to me. We're gonna go gonna go to the wide side here with Caden Durham. I just need hat on a hat and I have a touchdown. Oh my God, dude, can we get a fucking block? Like seriously, Caden Durham is hurt. I just need, I literally just need those three guys right here, my three offensive linemen to go get those three. <sighs> yeah, nice job, Caden Durham, holy shit. Our center got bitched. We have 16 for, we went for two or we got the fucking extra point block. Jesus Christ, I'm on weeks. We know it's a pass, yeah. Dude, I knew it! Oh! I couldn't get over there in time. I knew it. I, I read that like a book. Oh my God, that's my fault. We know these are passes the whole way. I'm on Alexander. Damn, are they in field goal range? They might be in field goal range already. Second and one. Over. I'm on weeks. I'm gonna check for a run. I'll fly back if it's not. I knew it. He got the first down, but damn, they might be in field goal range. You gotta, oh, nice job. These are gonna be passes until they're not, which is a stupid statement, but I'm on Alexander. You know what I mean. Oh my God. Listen, if we can hold them here and not let them get this first down, that puts us in a great spot because they're gonna kick their field goal and they're gonna get it. That's fine. Like I can't cover everyone, bro. Fuck. We got four people back to guard. Nobody. I called pass too. Like a fucking moron. These are gonna be runs the whole way. If they pass, let's go touch them, let's go touch them. I don't give a fuck. There's a run. Oh my God, they ran an RPO. No way. We're not gonna be able to outrun them. Oh my God, what are they doing? All they had, Zy Alexander, all they had to do was kick the field goal. Caden Durham, take us home, big fella. Great run. Oh my God, a first down on the first play. Can we, like, what are we doing? Oh. All right, Caden Durham, here we go again. I got something out of it. Damn, bro. Yeah, they're not gonna strip our defense that much. I'm Caden Durham, let's just get as many yards as we can. Oh my God, Caden Durham! Game, down the sideline! Durham, ball game! What a way to win. Zion Alexander with the play of the game. Caden Durham busted that outside. Take down Alabama, 29 to win in the Alabama LSU rivalry. Interestingly enough, we're still not guaranteed. I mean, obviously 93 yards, I mean, 17 attempts. That's great, almost four yards a carry. Um, two touchdowns, listen. Caden was dynamic. That was an incredible run to end the game. Weirdly enough, I don't think we're even like guaranteed a playoff spot, let alone like, an SEC championship spot, because you know we'll move up to maybe seven or six here. But we still got to play Oklahoma, and there's a chance we lose in you know, one of these games and don't make the SEC championship game, and that's going to be tough if we do. Bring in five-star wide receiver Max Donald. That is a huge get for this program. Move to number nine in the country. Even though we beat Alabama, five-star quarterback James Alvarado commits to Texas, so we're going to take him off our board. Next up, we have Florida. We've hopped into a couple games. Again, it is going to be tough going to the Swamp, but I, we should have no problem taking out Florida. We bring in another five-star wide receiver in Brian House. Just continuing to add to our weapons. That's huge. We beat Florida, move to 8-2, the number seven team in the country. Let's take a look at this game against Florida. Beat them 35-31. to Kyron Lacey, 178 and two touchdowns. Xavier Thomas, 61, two touchdowns. Aaron Anderson, 45 and a touchdown. Wow. Gave up three sacks from Will Campbell. Damn. Only one sack from Harold Perkins. Defense was, you know, solid, but damn, we got to play better. 
Next up, we got Vanderbilt. This is a good team, right? At the end of the day, we want to make the SD Championship game. Got to take them down. I'm going to let the CPU handle it. We're not going to hop into this one. We bring in another five-star receiver in Ross Waller. Another five-star receiver in Lamarcus Scroggins. Moved to nine and two, the number six team in the country. Which means we take it down Vanderbilt. Let's take a look at this game. Beat them 31 to 28. What? I mean, hey, they're, I guess they're a good team. 87 and three touchdowns for CJ Daniels, 61 and a touchdown for Aaron Anderson. Only one sack for Emory Jones this time. That's fine. 10 tackles for Greg Penn and Kylan Jackson. Wow. No sacks, no, oh, excuse me, two turnovers from Sage Ryan and Ashton Stamps. So our defense was much better. Even though we beat Vanderbilt, Steve Lemur commits to Oregon, so we're going to take him off our board. In our final game of the season, we take our number three Oklahoma. We get to host him. It's a huge game. And we're going to bust out some new uniforms. We're going to go with the home options, the purple and whites. Listen, we have to win this game if we want to make the SEC championship game. Here we go, back in Death Valley. This is not going to be easy. We got to win this game if we want to make the edge game. If we want to make the playoffs this year in season one, got to do it here. This is a good LSU team, but a great Oklahoma team. We have to be ready to go to take them down. We get the ball first. Let's see how this game is going to go. They're going to sit off, start off in quarters. Excuse me. They're going to leave this wide open. Give me a nice eight, six yards. That's fine. If you guys don't know already, I love to nickel and dime down the field. So, dude, can we? Damn, bro. Often I couldn't fuck a nosebleed right there. All right, well, okay. Kyron Lacey, I'm putting you on a go ball. Let's see if this is real. It is. Go get it, Kyron Lacey. Go get it, Kyron Lacey. Go get it, Kyron Lacey. What a ball, Garrett Nussmeyer. What are we doing pressing on the outside? I'm going to put CJ Daniels on and out. All right, uh, streak. It was press, but he did not. I got to uh, I got to read that better. That's my fault. Okay. I think this if this is real, this might be wide open. Dude, what, like what is Caden Durham, bro? They're just bringing pressure after pressure on Kyron Lacey on streak. What the fuck? 4 from 27? Honestly, I'm going for this. This is going to be really stupid, but I honestly don't care. Go get it. Go get it. Oh my God, not you. Dude, honestly, if I, no. If I throw that ball, I don't know if I need to zip it in there. He's open. That's my fault. That should've been a touchdown. Damn, I gotta see it earlier. Defense has been awesome on both sides. We gotta see if we can get a, 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 at least a field goal. Got him. We're gonna go for a field goal. It's been tough to score on both sides. We're just gonna take our points. There we go. No way. Did they run into us? Did they run into us? Roughing the kicker. Oh my God. We're going to take that. Thank you very much. And we are going to try something. I'm going to put Daniels on a drag. See how they cover this. Oh, wide open. Aaron Anderson walking. What are we doing? Thank you, Oklahoma. I'm going to put CJ Daniels on an out here. I'm taking off. I had Mason Taylor if I wanted him. Oh, my God. They didn't give it to me. I'm going for this. Going to flip this to the wide side drag defenders over there. That's fine. I need inches. Oh, my God. I got more than inches. Caden Durham. Nice run. I love this shock and nod play. I'm putting Daniels there. Dude, oh my god, I got fucking smoked. Oh, it was third and ten. Okay, well, honestly, we're going to take our field goal and go up ten. That's fine. Okay, so we go up two possessions. They do get the ball to start the second half. That's fine, though. It has been nothing on offense for either team. We're going to bring some pressure here. I'm going to sit on Major Burns. Let's see how they cover. That's fine. There we go. Keep everything in front of us. Nice tackle, Whit Weeks. Again, I'm just going to keep bringing pressure. We know it's a pass the whole way. I'm on Major Burns. They ran the ball. Whoa, I was not ready for them to run the ball there. They need a touchdown. So uh, any runs, that doesn't matter to me. I'm going to sit, switch to Allen here. Again, bring in pressure. We know it's a pass this time. Ooh, lit his ass up. There we go. He got the first down. Going to keep bringing pressure. I'm going to switch to Major Burns here. Didn't expect Jackson Arnold to take off. He's not exactly a fucking speed demon. See how they, are they running this ball? Play action. What? How did he catch that? What? All right, let's get a chance to switch our defense. I'm not going to bring pressure this time. I'm going to sit completely back. How does that, how does he get that ball in there? I'm on Whit Weeks. Dude, what? Oh my God, Jackson Arnold. Thank you. How are, we're just getting cooked right now. I'm on Penn right there. Give me, oh my God, I'm about to say, come give me that. I switched on to the wrong guy. They need, they need, this is four down territory for them. So we got two more downs. I'm on Whit Weeks here underneath. Come on, come on. What are we doing? Why is there nobody? Like, what the fuck? I'm bringing a blitz, bro. I can't let Jackson Earl just sit back there. I'm bringing a big blitz. We know it's a pass. What? What? How? Dude, that was a great RPO. I'm putting Daniels on a drag. Caden Durham, touchdown. What? Dude, a one-play thunderbomb here in Death Valley. Caden Durham walks it in. We know it's a pass. I'm going to bring some pressure here. I'm a major burns. I'm going to sit way back. Dude, can we get over? Oh my God. Okay, no more pressure. We know it's a pass. I'm sitting on Penn here. 
Anything across the middle is mine. Or they're just going to go outside. They have two timeouts, dude. Damn. This is why I like sitting in man coverage. I'm going to go back to man, actually. Going to bring some pressure. I'm on weeks. Let's see if they run. The nope. He's going to sit down. Get there. There we go. Great sack. Elkholm has six sacks. No wonder in there in this fucking game. Going to bring pressure again here on third and three. They're not calling their second timeout. Dude, can we? Like. Okay. Well, that's my fault. That's my fault. I thought I would get an animation or something. I thought he was going to take off. Okay, we need a field goal. Going to put Nick Anderson on. If this is real press coverage, which, okay. I want to put Taylor on a drag here. Got him. Great protection by my offensive line. Already crossed midfield. Going to call our first time out. Let's see how they cover this. I couldn't get the ball off. Fuck, I wanted to throw it to Mason Taylor. I'm going to put CJ Daniels on a drag here. I just need a field goal, so I don't, I, as long as I don't turn the ball over, I'm in a good spot. I keep thinking he's going to break on the underneath route. We're going overtime. That's fine. Dude, I can't believe I just... Oh, my God. I'm a fucking moron. We need something here. Come on, boys. We got to get... Like, I cannot believe this. That got it off, dude. They were, there was a zone. That was a zone coverage. Damn, I thought that was press, man. I was about to launch that bitch up. I'm going to put Mason Taylor on a post and Daniel's on a streak. Let's see how they cover this. Dude. Oh, my God. Their D-line is everywhere. I don't think I win this game if I don't get a, first, if I don't get a touchdown. I know this is really risky. I know this is really risky. I don't think I'd win this game if I don't get a touchdown here, though. There we go. I'm putting Mason Taylor on his rag here. Let's see. Touchdown. Mason Taylor, you madman! Oh, that's the game. Oh, we just needed a field goal? Oh, my God. I didn't even realize that. Oh, my God. I, I could have lost the game. Caden Durham. Listen, he only had 23 rushing yards, but they were huge rushing yards. And he had a crazy play on that on uh, the touchdown. Mason Taylor, obviously, a great catch in overtime to win the game. Yeah, the, the, the throw... Kate and Durham was everywhere. 10 and 2, 7 to 1 in the SEC. I can't imagine we're not in the SEC championship. I actually didn't look at the stats, but or the, the standings, but I, I can't imagine there's two. Unless South Carolina and there's another team that's undefeated, we should be in the SEC championship game. With that win, we move to the number four team in the country, an A plus brand exposure. So we are in the SEC game against number one Georgia. That's gonna be fun. And yeah, if we had lost that game, we actually would have been fourth in the SEC because we would have been six and two tied with Oklahoma and South Carolina with losses to both of them. Even though we beat Oklahoma, Bruce Bland actually commits to Ole Miss. So we're gonna take him off our board. All right, taking on Georgia here in the SEC championship game. We gotta win this one if we want the one seed. We're gonna switch it up to the white uniforms. Toughest team we played all season. Let's do it, boys. Defense did their job. We're gonna see if we can run this in with Caden Durham. Hat on a hat on that right side gets us in. Hat on a hat. Untouched LSU strikes first. Here we go. Let's see if we can try this play. I I think I can get it to Aaron Anderson. Dude, get the fuck out of here. Great job, defense. Garrett Nussmeyer, you fucking suck. Oh, my God. What a thank you. Thank you. What a ball to Caden Durham. Third and five, bringing a blitz. They fucking got a safety, bro. How? I'm on Weeks. Third and five. I think this is a pass, but this might be some cute run. It is. A, oh, it's play action. Great job, defense. Not a field goal range now. Nice job, Zy Alexander. I'm going to bring, uh, excuse me, I'm not going to bring up blitz. I'm going to sit back in coverage. I'm on Zy Alexander here. Up by five. They need a touchdown. No field goals. Dude, I knew it. Oh, my God. I knew it. I, did, I thought he was running an out route, so I thought like I would have him. I'm on Penn. They know him in cover three. Carson Beck having identifiers is actually annoying as fuck. This is a run. Get there. Damn. Okay, third and one. I think they're going to run this ball. I think this is, yeah, this is a run formation. Shit. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I tried to get up. Dude, no fucking way. How does he get 15 yards on that? We know they're going to be in pass. Please be intentional grounding or hold. That's fine. We still got there. Nice job, defense. Yeah, we're going to take that. First and 20, they're, they're passing this ball. I'm going to be on Harold Penn. Here we go. Give me. I was about to freak out if he caught that ball in between three people. Holy shit. I'm on Penn again. Wait, I know the routes, yeah. The fact that he got any 10 yards on that is fucking crazy. Damn. Third and 10, they're passing this ball here. I'm on Whit Weeks. He thinks this is a run or a blitz. I'm not blitzing with Whit Weeks, brother. Your identifier is a little, a little messed up. Oh, like, what the fuck are we? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm bringing a blitz, bro. I can't let them just nickel and dime me down the field. We got to get home. Like, how are they so open? And even more importantly, how are they so much faster? I got to bring a blitz, bro. Fuck this. This is ridiculous. I'm on Major Burns. I see it. 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 I got it. Oh, I picked the shit out of Carson back. Okay, here we go. Can we? 72. I need one block. And there, oh, this is not going anywhere, bro. Like, can we fucking, like, damn. Fuck this, bro. We can't do anything against this Georgia defense. No. Fuck. They need a touchdown. I'm on Penn. We know there's a run. Pass. I mean, give me that. You fucking moron. Thanks for the game. Hi, Alexander. Thank you. Take this back, Si Alexander. There we go. Come on. 
Fuck Georgia, bro. Yeah, fuck them, bro. I want to get some extra points. Don't even care. We win the FCC. We're going to be the number one seed. Probably. Maybe not. We might be two. I don't even care. Fuck Georgia. Fuck. I cannot. Dude, th these Georgia Bulldogs are so annoying to play against, bro. We win the FCC. We're going to have a top four seed. We're three wins away from a national championship. We came here to do that. We got a chance to do it here. With that win, we moved to the number two team in the country. Savion Jones, one sack, two tackles, three TFLs. Savion was, it was, it was just everywhere. I see defense player of the week. Did we get the offensive one? Caden Durham, yeah, 12 carries, 54 yards and a touchdown. I believe he had stuff through the air as well. Dynamic game from him. Carson Beckman, get this fucking fraud off my face. He just beat their ass. Yeah, he had 12 or 48 receiving yards and a touchdown. Nice job, Caden Durham. Carson Beck, he did. I mean, this is a loaded ass Heisman class though. Damn, that's crazy. Here at National Signing Day, we signed an incredible class. Wide receiver Ross Waller, the number one player in the country. Pat Forner, the defensive tackle number two player in the country. Athletes Glenn Antoine and Jaquan Garns, defensive tackle Caleb Cohn. Wide receiver Max Donald, middle linebacker Brian Castellanos. Defensive tackle Jaden Elias. Cornerback Alan Markook. Wide receiver LaMarcus Scroggins, left end Ben Zolik. Defensive tackle Bill Mayotta. Wide receiver Brian House and middle linebacker Shaquille Hill. We got another couple other guys as well, but we brought in a fucking massive class. Take a look at the college football playoff bracket, right? Ohio State goes 12 and 1. They win the Big Ten. They're the one seed. We win the SEC with a two seed. NC State wins the ACC. They're the three seed. Kansas State wins the Big 12. They're the four seed. Five seed goes to Georgia. Six seed goes to Notre Dame. Seven seed Oregon. Eight seed Oklahoma. Nine seed South Carolina. Ten seed Utah. Eleven seed. And 12 seed Texas State. They win, I believe, the Sun Belt. And they're the fifth auto bid. So the Big Ten gets two teams with Ohio State and Oregon. The SEC gets three with LSU, Oklahoma, Georgia. The ACC gets two with nc state and louisville big 12 gets two with kansas state and utah and then obviously uh oh no excuse me the sec got four because south carolina's in there and then texas state and then notre dame so it's gonna be a chance we see some more sec teams and we're taking on the oregon ducks here in the fiesta bowl this is going to be a battle let's take a look at the bracket see how these teams did we got a georgia trample texas state south carolina upset oklahoma louisville upset notre dame and then oregon utterly not utterly dominated utah and so only one upset, or excuse me, two upsets. This is going to be tough. Oregon is a great team. I am not, I do not want to be playing them. They're another fucking annoying ass team to play. All right, here we go. Fiesta Bowl. We got to take down Oregon. And that's not going to be easy. They're a great team. They're annoying to fucking play. Oh, here we go. The uh, Fiesta Bowl against the Oregon Ducks. Last time LSU was in the playoff, they played in the Fiesta Bowl against Oklahoma. Oregon hasn't been in the playoffs for over a decade. LSU for almost half a decade, if not more. The festival gives us one more chance. Here we go. Let's do this. Hit him with some play action here on first and 10. Back shoulder to Mason Taylor. Nice job. Bring a blitz. A slanted man coverage. There we go. I'm going to try an RPO here. I, I think I can hit this ball to CJ Daniels. Can we get a fucking block? What are we doing? Kind of flip this play here. I'm going to put the ball on the ground here to Caden Durham. I didn't get anything, bro. There's no push anywhere by my offensive line, bro. Fuck. And it's not like Oregon has this fucking world beater of a defensive line. Like, no offense to Oregon touchdown oh my god up the nice job Caden Durham here we go okay I'm gonna sit on Gilbert first and 10 inside the red zone I fucking I can't get I like I literally have to either go up the middle or I have to go up the side and I couldn't catch him fucking hell dude this is ridiculous we cannot or this is what I'm talking about bro Oregon and Georgia two teams it's a fucking nightmare to play against because you just this shit happens and of course of course of course our fucking defense can't do any our offense can't do anything thank you oh my god Take it off. Zai Alexander. Pick six. Pick six. We're styled. Oh my god damn, Tysheen Johnson's fast. Let's go, Zai Alexander. You think maybe that would, you know, spur our defense, but damn, we can't stop them. Thank you, bro. Sit down, Jordan James. You fucking Ugh! Bitch. Bro, I can't go a fucking nosebleed. I'm on Whitweeks, West Weeks, whatever his fucking name is. I'm flying down. That's me. That's me. That's me. That's me. That's 100 percent me. I should have been in that hole. We gotta get it. We gotta get some point. Why? Oh, what the fuck just happened to the clock? I don't even care. Fuck you, game. You're trying to cheat me. I'm so good. Cheating ass game, bro. Fourth and two. Nice job, defense. I should have been there, but I didn't think he'd throw that ball. I think he would, I figured he'd throw it right away. I'm, I'm bringing up ridiculous blitz, bro. Like, what? It, I just, I can't. Like, bro, like, what? I'm on, Allen. Thank you. Great job, defense. I'm on. And let's see if they run this. I knew it. I fucking knew they were running this ball, bro. I sniffed that out. This is a pass. Third and six. I'm on West Weeks. I already called it. Thank you. Nice job, Harold Perkins. Forced him into a field goal. Finally, our defensive line gets in there, bro. We got to get something out of here. I'm going to put Aaron Anderson on a drag here. Third and two. I just need a couple yards. Yeah. Hit my drag. Nice job, Aaron Anderson. We just need a field goal. If we can get a field goal, keep them at bay. That would be huge. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see how they cover this. They don't. 
They leave Aaron Anderson wide open. Up, or no, CJ Daniels. Nice job. I'm going to put CJ Daniels on a drag here. This is too high for sure. Touchdown. Let's go! 11 point lead for the LSU Tigers. They got it and went for two and got it. Okay. So that is something. I'm taking off. I'm taking off. I'm taking off. I'm taking off again. No, Paul, get out of bounds. I I cannot believe that that just happened. And I'm fine. That's fine. I'm handing this ball off to Caden Durham, bro. I don't even know how that happened. I don't even know what just happened. I cannot believe that just worked. Hit the second one this time. There we go. I probably hand this ball off. CJ Daniels, nice job. Okay. I don't know if I want to run this ball this way. They are loading the box. We are a couple first downs away. Caden Durham, nice job. I don't know what this duck's doing. This duck is just duck strong, bro. Let's see if we can hit him with a trap here. Oh my God. Caden Durham. He is hurting. We just need like one or two more runs out of you, big fella. We just need one more run. Dude, this is, it is ridiculous how fast they score. Like that is crazy. Oh, thank the Lord for Xavier Thomas because that, I, I cannot believe we just, oh my God, we beat Oregon. What a game, bro. We win the Fiesta Bowl. Oh, I just, I'm so happy we won that. That pick six by Zy Zy Alexander was the difference. That was huge. We win the Fiesta Bowl. And now we are one step closer to being a national championship. Thank God, bro. Zai Alexander, a pick six in four tackles. SEC Defense Player of the Week. Zai was amazing. He's he's just everywhere in coverage as well. We take on Louisville. Okay. Let's take a look. See if Zai Alexander did anything else. I just want to double check. Now let's take a look at the bracket now. This is a huge game. So Louisville actually upsets NC State. We obviously sneak by Oregon. Ohio State shits on South Carolina. And then Georgia upsets Kansas State. So two SEC, a Big Ten, and an ACC. So there's a chance if we win this game. Um, that we rematch against Georgia. You know, either Georgia or Ohio State is going to be an annoying ass team to play. Taking on Louisville, this is going to be an interesting game. I have not played this team much. I really want to see what they have going on. I, I don't, again, I haven't really done much with the ACC in terms of rebuilds. So I haven't really seen Louisville that much. So I don't really know how good this team is or what I should be looking for. I've obviously watched a decent amount of Louisville in real life. So I know kind of how it should go. We're going to switch the helmet to the white helmet. We're going to go with the uh, upper whites. Switch it up a little bit. In the Orange Bowl here, okay. Here we go, the Orange Bowl here in Miami, taking on the Louisville Cardinals, the 11 seed, the last at-large team to make the college football playoff, taking on Louisville, or excuse me, taking on LSU. They upset NC State last round to make it here, so they are a team that to be reckoned with, gotta be ready to go. Starting off this game with the ball, let's see if we can take the top off with some play action stuff. We like to attack through the air, it's kind of our thing. What a ball by Garrett Nussmeyer, holy shit. I actually don't run that play to, no, please. Chant Louisville, what are we doing? One, two, mm-hmm. Thanks for the challenge, idiots. What a ball. That's what I thought. And just for that, I'm gonna do it again. I was gonna run that ball. Just kinda like see how the run game is going, but now, uh, yeah, there was so many things open that I just hesitated for some reason. I don't really know why I did that. That's my fault. I'm gonna put CJ Daniels on an out route. What a ball by Garrett Nussmeyer to Caden Durham. Oh my God. Here we go. Hit him with some play action. Got it. Back of the end zone. What a ball to Aaron Anderson. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Damn, I had him too. I just couldn't hold. Let's actually flip this play the wide side here. I, I think, I know not using Mason Taylor might not be a good idea. I think I can hit Kyron Lacey. Marion Pimpton. Um, that route was fucking terrible. Uh, Mason Taylor straight. This is a touchdown. Yep, wide open. We might run through Louisville. I was wrong. Louisville is staying around. They're not, they're not going anywhere, which is kind of annoying, but shit, bro. Monzai Alexander, get there, get there. Huge sack, they're not getting anything out of it. Fourth and 27, our fourth sack of the day. Louisville's not going anywhere, but listen, at the end of the day, we are a couple first downs away from, oh my God, I went to throw it and I fucking hurtled. Damn, Garen, that's my just like a shot because I'm an idiot. Got it, touchdown, ball game. And just like that, LSU is gonna take down Louisville. 28 to fucking 14, they're gonna score here. It doesn't even matter, but like we, we just got the extra point blocked. Are you kidding me? Doesn't matter. That was a great throw by Garrett Nussmeyer. He's been, listen, he makes some questionable throws, but he has been fantastic tonight. What a snag. Holy shit. Louisville still has all three timeouts, so technically this game isn't over, but we're already almost in field goal range. Caden Durham, let's see what we can do here. Oh my God. Caden Durham! Wow! Back to the wide side. Caden Durham, take us home. Oh my God. No, what the fuck? Like, why would you not block that guy? Uh, we're gonna get a... And just like that, we take down Louisville and advance to the national championship. Louisville, I mean, listen, we blew him out in that first quarter and that was the difference. We kept pace the rest of the way. We moved to one win away from a national championship, completing the goal and just year one. 
Paris Shan, two sacks, four tackles, one TFL. Paris was spectacular this whole game. I imagine he gets the national defensive player of the week. He doesn't. We're taking on Ohio State. Son of a bitch, bro. I fucking hate playing against Ohio State. Fuck. Four tackles, two sacks. Again, Paris Shan was spectacular. We're going to need him to play just as well this week against Ohio State. The final game of this season, a chance to win a national championship. We're going to go with the white helmets here. We're going to go purple. Let's do this, boys. A chance to win the national championship for LSU. Ohio State hasn't won one, I believe, since 2014. LSU since 2019. So two of the premier programs in the country going head to head. Here we go. Goodness. Wait. Whoa. I actually know I'm going to this ball immediately. That was a terrible ball by Garrett Nussmeyer. Like fucking terrible. Going to put the ball in the hands of Caden Durham on the ground. They're, they're in cover one. So we're going to have to get some good blocks. I was, that was fucking elite running by me. Holy smokes. Going to put Mason Taylor on a drag here. Get up field. Get up. Like that's what I'm saying, bro. That play 17 yards on a drag. I need to run the ball more. But, like, why when that is what I can do on a drag? Mason Taylor on a drag again. They're not going to have rush lane integrity. I'm not going to outrun Jack Sawyer, but fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Nice job, offensive lineman. I probably should have just slid, but I got greedy. Here we go. Just hold on to it, Aaron Anderson. Nice job. I didn't want to throw it to the deep one to get picked off. Oh, I had him. They were in cover for three. I thought so. I did have him. Damn. Third and six. Going to put Mason Taylor on a drag here. There's no rush lane integrity. They're just getting stuck inside. They're not holding contain at all. And it's not like Mason, or excuse me, Garrett Nussmeyer is a fucking speed demon. I, I, but when you don't have rush lane integrity, like, it is super easy to do this. Yep. Like, I, like Garrett, it's not, again, he's not a speed demon, but he's got enough speed to get out and go. And offensive line is giving me time. I'm stepping up. I don't really want to keep running. Amari and Pimpton. There we go. Give me six, five. That's fine. Like, why? I, yeah, I, I straight up just panicked there. Like, there, there's no way around it. Like, I, I straight up just panicked. Inside. Damn, I had him. I just got to zip that in there. Gonna try something that has not worked for me very well. I'm gonna put Daniel on a drag here. I need to, just need a first down here. Cross the middle. There we go to CJ Daniels. Gonna, s I'm actually gonna flip this play. I'm gonna go RPO to Mason Taylor. Like, what are we doing? Can we get a fucking block? Like, actually, like, why are we not getting blocks outside? Caden Durham, I need something big from, big some. Dude, like, I just need to try to run him over. Fuck me. I don't trust my offensive line to fucking block for me. That's what I'm worried about. I'm going for this, bro. This is ridiculous. Yeah. Like, I can't... I, it takes... Touchdown. There we go. Third and one. We're going to... Caden Durham, if we can't get a yard out of you, big fella, we got bigger problems. Like, what the fuck was that? You wonder why I don't run the fucking ball. That's why. What the hell was that? And I have a lot of fucking speed demons outside. Nice job, CJ Daniels. Got him. What a ball! Wow, Garrett Nussmeyer! Why can't I call a timeout? Why can't I call a timeout? Why can't I call a timeout? Like, why can't I not call a timeout there? Like, I'm trying to call a timeout. That's so dumb. Putting Daniels on a drag. Listen, we have to score here. Actually, oh, I didn't even see him. I didn't even see the safety on the on the 2025 logo. Holy shit, I'm glad I didn't lob that ball. Here we go. Okay, third, second and one. Glad I got rid of the ball. Holy shit, dude. I got fucking smoked. Just need the first down. There we go, Amari and Pimpton. Touchdown. Let's go! We take a two touchdown lead in the fourth. Come on. Unfortunately, we can't stop a fucking nosebleed, and somehow Ohio State is about to win this game if they can score a touchdown and go for two. This is a pass. We know it's passed the whole way. Oh, I knew he was going. I just I just didn't read it. Oh, this is the third quarter. Never mind. I'm a dumbass. I thought it was the fourth quarter for some reason. This is a run. If this isn't a run, it's not a run, but I'm just going to commit and assume it is. I'm on pen. Oh, it's a pass. Shit. Well, we cannot stop a nosebleed right now, and our offense doesn't do anything. I got to bring a blitz. Nice job. I can't believe I was out there with a fucking D-tackle running around. Here we go. Second and ten. I'm on Ryan. Second and ten is a run. Shit, get outside. Get outside. Get outside. Get outside. Nice job. I'm on Weeks. Here we go. Great job. We're going to hold him to three. Here we go. Third down, down a field goal. We got to get something out of this drive here. I, I think I there's no way this is real, right? Yeah, I thought so. Nice job, Mason Taylor. Nice release. Oh, we got it. <laughs> we just need a field goal. That was an incredible play by Garrett Nussmeyer. I got it. I got him again. I got him again. Got him again! Is that CJ Daniels? I can't tell. I don't know who that is. No, that's Kyron Lacey. Wow. We have 22 first downs. They have two. Are you fucking kidding me? The fact that they're in this game is is, is criminal. I'm on wet weeks. We're going to bring it from pressure this time. Nice job, defense. Greg Penn is sack. Huge. I put on Harold Penn. I don't know why. We know it's a pass. I'm going to sit on Major Burns. Here we go. Come on. Like, what? Come on. We know it's a pass. I'm on Greg Penn here. No, wait. We know I want to be on him. Yeah, I'm on Greg Penn. Here we go. Shit. Nice job. Blasted his ass. I should have known they were going to fucking... I'm on Greg Penn. We know it's passed the whole way. Oh, shit. They don't need a field goal. They need a touchdown. Right? So as long as we, you know, 
keep everything in front of us, we should be fine. I'm on Greg Penn again. We know it's a pass. Oh, I knew it! Okay, well, we need a field goal. We don't need a touchdown. We need a field goal. 22 first downs to six. That is fucking criminal, bro. Like, I don't even know where I was trying to go with that ball. Like, I, I don't even know. I, I didn't really know where I wanted to go the whole time. Aaron Anderson, nice fucking ball. Garrett Nussmeyer, holy shit. Putting CJ Daniels on an out here. They're just gonna sit back. They're gonna let me nickel and dime them. That's fine. I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm gonna put Mason Taylor on a drag here. We know how this goes. Like this, I know how, you guys know how I run this rock combo. Just need a first down. Just need a first down. Mason Taylor, we only need a field goal. We don't need a touchdown. So, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not trying to turn this fucking wall over. Almost missed shit. Ooh, I'm with it. Not really getting much time to throw these balls, I'll be honest. I'm putting CJ Daniels on a drag here. Again, I just need a field goal. And so I'm gonna call my first time out here. I'm gonna put Mason Taylor on a drag, actually. I'm taking off. No, I'm not. What a ball by Garrett Nussmeyer. Holy shit. Kyron Lacey has been incredible today. Gonna, let's go! Oh my God, I didn't think it was actually gonna go in. 20, like eight first downs to six. Golly, bro. Give me that, give me that! Game, game, game! LSU is gonna win the national championship, come on! Oh my God, a user look. I bitched about our defense all season for them to do that. What a way to end the video. If you enjoyed this, make sure to comment down below which team you want to see me rebuild next. I enjoyed rebuilding LSU. There's more challenge. This team has obviously struggled as of late this season. Good to bring a championship back to Death Valley. And uh, yeah, if you want to see me rebuild another team, make sure to comment down below which team. And YouTube thinks you're going to like this video. So find out if they're right.